All right, it's like this. Our governor in the state of Michigan has told us we have to shut our restaurants down. This is a problem. 600,000 people in the restaurant industry in Michigan who rely on not only the paychecks, and I can, I can tell you the federal government's response to this is not going to uh, provide the kind of relief that's necessary because it's gonna be, it's gonna be late it's going to be painful for those people who work, particularly those who work for tips. In this particular industry, there's also food cost. And without warning, the governor shut down the restaurants. And where do you think all that food is going to wind up? It's not going to be going in anybody's bellies, I can tell you that. And then you take the tourist industry, for example. People staying in hotels, motels, now maybe the tourist industry isn't that big right now, but there are people who travel for business. And by shutting the restaurants down, you've eliminated a, a way of people being able to eat. You think drive throughs and, and whatnot is, is, is sufficient in a lot of cases? I don't think so. Then you take the support services for the restaurants. How many businesses need a restaurant to be in business to continue what they do, the Gordon Food Services or other food services. How much food are they going to be throwing out? Then when it's all said and done, we, we are kind of driving people into um, going to the grocery store perhaps, where the shelves are already bare and a lot of, a lot of goods. And people, frankly, who go to restaurants don't generally cook, so they're not going to be buying real efficiently. This entire fiasco is a disaster. We need to call the governor's office. We need to shut that switchboard down with calls to the governor's office demanding that she rescind her executive order. This is absurd. The administration is wrong. The people in, in our state government, they're wrong. There are more people affected by the flu, and I know that this people say, oh, don't use that example. This virus has not hit the state like it has in other areas. And while it is dangerous, there are other ways in which we can help, in which ways in which we can mitigate the effects of the virus. But wholesale shuttering of businesses, private businesses, is un-American, and it needs to stop now. Call the governor's office. I'll put the number down below, below the video, and uh, maybe we can get this thing swung around fast before it does any permanent damage. Because if we go two weeks, I can tell you this, it's going to be years before we, we recover from this governor's mistake. Thank you. Fascinating.